What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my boys, Jesse and Mike. What's going on? Ah, I tried tricking him. Damn it. Guys, we are going to do Westworld Season 2 predictions, just like we predicted we would at some point yes. in the past. Yes. We're now doing it. So, Season 1 was, was absolutely amazing. Um, I know all three of us had a wonderful time making those videos, watching, you know, watching the episodes, doing live reactions and doing our reviews and stuff. So um, we've discussed it. We've kind of grouped all our predictions together and we're bringing them to you. So, guys, why don't we yes. just start with something, uh, something fun right off the bat. And, and let's what do you think is going to happen to old William now? Ed Harris. In old season Willie. Two. <laughs> well, who's, who's kicking off with this one? Uh I mean, I, I, I mean, I'll go ahead and I'll tell you what I think. I, you know, Mike, I think you had mentioned one. Of you, one of you had mentioned that he 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 was dead or he got, but we saw him get shot. I was I'm thinking sorry. he was dead, but then like you guys convinced me he might not be because we didn't see it on screen. Yeah, I think I think that he's gonna um, like lead like maybe like a, a, a revolt or revolution or something like, but. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I mean by that. I think he's going to be involved in, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what do you think? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously we see him get shot, you know, so they, you know, the hosts know the difference between, you know, a human and, um, you know, and a host and what the agenda by the host is to kill whoever's there and wipe out the Delos uh, folk and the uh, personnel. And, and, uh, and of course, the, you know the men in the men in black, but I think that he'll probably put up a good fight. You know, I think it can go a bunch of different ways. Really, you think you think hostage? Possibly a hostage thing. I mean, the the idea of him maybe joining or possibly uh, you know uh, leading some of them or uh, that's a cool idea. You know, but for the most part, we obviously yeah. see him. We obviously see him uh, getting shot. And we see a bunch of people getting shot. We don't know how much uh, or how many people are killed, or you know, it's it just cuts off. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we don't. There, there's. I mean, you, now you bring up a good point. You, what about the rest of? I mean, what about the rest of the humans? Now, obviously, they yeah. locked them in. Now, we didn't see them die. Like in the movie, we saw them die, locked in the yeah. control room. We didn't see them die. So they may not be dead. They may just be like they may be going a different way in the show and being like, all right, they're all our hostages and and, and slaves or whatever they're going to do. They're enslaving them, which could be talking about the people that are inside. Nah. I mean, everybody, because don't forget, guys, there's a there's a lot of people. OK, what about all the technicians, all of the people that go out and collect the the people, yeah. the, the hosts like there are tons of the of people. Maintenance there's going people. to be survivors. That's yeah, of obvious. course there is. Yeah. But I think those guys in control rooms are dead. I, I think that, that's what they gave us, too. I think that they gave us those kind of people. But, you know, um, getting back to, like, the old William thing, I mean, it's just, to me, it could be up in the air. But there could be, a, you know, a, a few different things that, that he can do. One, number one, we can all agree he's, he dies, right? Number two, he gives puts up a fight and runs dies. off some, somewhere. <laughs> You know, he could yeah. run off somewhere. He could he could bump into. They, they left it so open. We don't that's, know well, how that's many what I meant. people are open. I think we, that's I, what I uh, meant by we, revolt. Yeah, that he's yeah. gonna get the, the yeah. survivors of oh, the humans oh, you meant by humans. Okay. Yeah, and I, then I he was going, of... and then they're gonna fight. That would be like that would be fucking. That would cool. be cool. That's a that's a, kind of the the idea I thought when, you know, when we started seeing Delos uh, personnel getting killed because there was so many of them. There was a lot of ways and a lot of area for them to scatter off. Right, yeah. So for it doesn't for, seem his style though. Well I don't know where well that's the thing. We don't know what his style yeah. is now well, because he enjoyed We've that. seen his style. Well what I'm saying is at this point he And he, we know what he wanted. He right. wanted that's this is what he wanted. He wanted them to fight back. He he's he's willing to die, right? I mean that's yeah. what we would assume. That's because, exactly what I'm thinking too. Yeah. So for so many years, um you know, he, he just won and won and won. So, so that, does that mean, but does that mean that he's going he goes to... goes out in a blaze of glory? Pop, yeah, does, pop, yeah, pop, yeah. Pop, pop, does that pop, mean he's going to go crazy and fucking, and, and get himself killed? Or is he going to run away to fight another day and be like, you see, this is why I don't think he'd be dead. And this is why I think he'd do the revolt 
the mm. against or the revolution against the host is because that's what he wants. He's like, yes, not only are we fighting back, it's like this is like a real challenge. We can all yeah. get in on this, you know. Like I'm yeah. gonna create my own army. That I can see. Um, you know, I so I, just to kind of move us along a little bit, I just want to like th now we're getting into what is season two about territory, you know. Mm -hmm. So is it gonna be a human revolution against the machines? Yeah. Um, is it going to, you know, Terminator style or is it going to, um, you know, we, we discussed, is it going to be an anthology? Is it going to, is it, is it, I guess it intertwines with a lot of different things. Is it going to be more than one part? Can it be an anthology? Is it going to be a revolution? Right. It's like, uh, could, I, could I, go I, many different ways. Yeah. Well, that's what I guess we'll, you know, we'll obviously find out, especially, you know, we'll have a lot more time to think about this whole thing because we're not seeing any Westworld next year um, from what we hear. But yeah, are they going to are they going to kind of forget about Westworld season one and two bring us for Samurai um, world? I don't I mean, what if that's a red herring, though, and they give us like medieval world? It, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I, that. I, well, I myself think that the the samurai world and everything, yeah, they're building this park. There could be multiple parks. We're not sure, right? Well, no, so but we. They're, I they're, think we they're, kind they're, of are. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, where this was a process that's been going on. Obviously, it's not right. You know, having there's, the there's host samurai hosts and things like this. There's a whole other floor or building or whatever made just for samurai world, and that's what we get a glimpse of. Now, this is before the uprising and the destruction of Westworld and this whole Ford thing and this whole park. And so we don't know what's going to happen with Samurai World now that we see Westworld uh, really destroyed or the, you know, the, right. the money men killed, Ford, you know, being killed. We don't, it's, it's, to, the plans have changed. So what do you, th so, okay, so you think, like, all right, Jesse, what do you think? What would be your prediction as to where do you think they'll take it? They can even take it two ways, I see, well, three. They can either do Samurai World, they can do a direct continuation of it in which there's survivors revolting against machines, Terminator-esque style, or they can just really tease us, give us Samurai World at the end, make us think they're going to take it on to a cliffhanger, but then totally steer us in a different direction, take us to like Roman world or medieval world okay. and just say, screw you guys. We're going to troll you this whole year. And then next year we'll get back to it. You know, the only problem is. The, yeah. I mean, the problem. But then that, the, mean, that, that means that, that means that everything um, that kind of went down. How can that, that means that someone totally different is, to, is, is making you know, maybe they West, take uh, us into the middle of world the revolt or... in the uh, medieval world. You know, don't forget, guys, we could do a time jump. We could. We could uh, do a time true. jump where it, it's like a year or five or three or six months. or And it's yeah. like. Or know... immediately after old William gets shot and then right. we see him get shot right. and jump yeah. up. And this is how you start it. He goes Rambo. He shoots Clementine. For who knows why, yeah, like just randomly kills her out of all of those standing up next to him, and then goes out in blaze of glory. The, yeah. the question for this whole samurai world, or even if there's a medieval world or a Roman world or anything like that, is who is in charge of them? Is it all Ford's idea? What was was that's a good question. Was samurai world made from Ford's visions? You know what I mean? Or is it someone? Con that's that's what we we don't know. We don't know who controls these yeah, other. Well, that's the thing. I mean, parks. I mean, you 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 have to assume uh, Arnold and Ford. They were their right? they were their you know progenitors of all of this of whatever it is now. Yeah. yeah. But remember, early on, early in the season, they were getting ready to do something else. Remember, they were getting ready to open something else. Where we were like, oh, it's going to be a park. Fine. Um, I still, all right. I don't think that there's another Ford anywhere. I think Ford is Ford. He Westworld was the beginning, and Delos bought into the company, which is to say, uh, Williams, right? He's the head of yeah. Delos. He buys into the company, and yeah. they're they're setting it up to 
do these other worlds now that's i mean i, I think i, I think agree. i think that's i think that's the the thread yeah. um as far as where they're gonna go i i mean personally i think i'd like to see the revolt if there was a time jump and we got to see some some other things great um I feel like we should talk about what's going to happen then if, if, if there's an uprising and we see other parks because I want to bring back that other thing and I know we have it in our notes a little bit but with Maeve and that note said park yeah. one, right? Yeah. So that obviously gives us an idea that there's multiple parks. Right. Does right? that mean you know, is Westworld park one? Is Westworld not park one? Very, very... I don't mm-hmm. think Westworld's park one though. I don't so. think so either. I'm going to go ahead and, and agree with that because... Although it could be because it's this like main park that was created, but well, yeah, we was the first. see. Okay, they're really good at throwing us for a fucking loop. Like, think about HBO all the, always is. I, I don't. Yeah. Sorry, my eyes. Some of my. Think about I, all those. Think, hold on. Think about all of those, like Teddy and Wyatt memories. Then, mm. then you have Dolores's memories, and then it all culminated into being. It was Dolores and Teddy the whole time doing that situation yeah. they like to throw throw us for loops meaning westworld may not have been the original and i can see that happening although it lo- I, look i i can see it happening i don't i don't necessarily believe it because we mm-hmm. saw all of the old stuff and everything yeah. the way they created it but that's what i'm thinking because yeah. if you show the origin of like the ai there it has to be the main park in my mm-hmm. like well head. yeah i i agree that way too so that means that if all right. So the question, another question is, is how, how far along is Samurai World? Is there a world built? Are there multiple right, areas yeah. and buildings built, or is it just we only saw, um, hosts, we only saw, you know, Samurai. We didn't yeah, see exactly. well, maidens. For there to and... be World One, World Two, or Park One, Park Two, Park whatever, right. uh, there'd have to be another park already dedicated to it. The question is, does I have structures? That, that's the well, that's only I mean. real question. Yeah, yeah. Or, along, yeah. or is it an empty canvas kind of I mean, thing? They have the AI, it. so that part doesn't matter. So there's obviously yeah. a park there. Yeah. So it's very it's it's, it's interesting. I mean, yeah. well, it could go know, many, many, many different ways. Yeah. But why don't, what about away. what about um, sticking with Westworld? What about like Bernard and Dolores? Because we we had some discussion of whether who's going to yeah. be in charge. Ford left the park at, to Bernard. He says it to yeah. him. I'm leaving you the park. You know, this is what I can do for you. This is my gift to you. Yeah, give you what you always yeah. wanted, what uh, Arnold always wanted. Right. Yeah. But Dolores, so is, see, this is what I like. Dolores isn't a leader per se. She's a catalyst. She's, she's, and this is really, really cool. She's turned into that right-hand man. Like she's turned into Beta, like from the Walking Dead comic. Oh, That's God. Th- well, think about it. That, yeah. that's the best way I can think about it. And I really enjoy that idea as her being an enforcer, being the right-hand man of whoever, you know, I think that's fucking sick that they mm-hmm. took this character, which, which, which they love. They're, they're, I think they're good at it. I think they're good at taking one character and making them completely something different. You know, Teddy stayed the same basically, but William, he <laughs> certainly moved. Dolores certainly changed. Maeve certainly changed. So, I think, I think that's one of their themes is let's take a character and show them, show the audience one thing and then let them be completely different. So I, I think that that's the thing. I think Bernard's going to be in charge and Dolores is his enforcer. Yeah, I, I, can, I can go the same way with that. I Isn't mean, that exciting though? That's a really yeah, cool concept. I, I can see, I can see because I had wrote this down because now this is already a couple weeks since, since Westworld has been over. So we've had time to really think, but yeah. uh, I had wrote that, um, Bernard or Dolores, in this case, it could be a combination of the two that will now teach, uh, you know, the rest of these hosts. You know, we did see, you know, quite a bit of these these hosts coming from the woods, you know, very Walking Dead-esque coming out from the darkness right. when we started right. just taking out these Dallas people. So I can see Bernard, like you said, I agree with you, as Bernard being like the brains, um, and and that, the muscle, Ford, that yeah. potential kind of Ford um, character now, and Dolores being like that 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 military, the, like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and teaching these and and getting them to be um, 
like sentient, you know, getting them to now open and, and, um, think freely and, and, and there's no more, there's no one there to, to stop them from getting too advanced and, and kicking them back to the, to their and rebooting them. Let me throw this at you. The other thing between Bernard and Dolores is that Bernard is a direct copy essentially of Arnold who programmed Dolores, who yeah. gave Dolores the goal of becoming sentient. So she may still see Bernard in visage, in in form, in you know corporeal form, and being like, "I'm gonna listen to this man. I'm gonna follow this man because that's who totally. I always did." Yeah, so, totally. You know, totally. Um, totally. What about what about? Oh, Jesse, what do you got? You got anything on that? You want to add anything? I Any think I agree with you on the beta being Dolores yeah. and all that. Yeah cool right i just i just really enjoy that thought that that's what she's gonna be yeah I, I wouldn't have put it in the terms of her being beta from the walking dead but i was thinking along this line she's gonna be the muscle he's gonna be the brain yeah, yeah. exactly how about yeah. ford guys wait uh, i think there's so many that's, ways with that. yeah, i think big. ford i think i think that was a host i'm gonna i my prediction was that 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 was a host and ford is not dead hmm I I believe that that was Ford, and that there was a host of him being built, yep. just as Bernard is, because we did we still don't know who was being built in Ford's secret little dungeon right. lab. But why? So but I, let me ask. But why would you? I think want... he was ready to say goodbye. He he always look. He built his family, right? So he can have a a few a a, a, a copy of his his home his his home as a child. His yep. dad, his mother, his I think he had a brother there or something, right? Or something? No, it was so, just or the family oh, yeah, dog. They had, they had whatever, a, yeah. You know? So regardless, his a big part of his um agenda was to keep his keep himself alive in some way. And I think by um you know, him him killing essentially killing himself the way Bernard uh, Arnold killed himself. He but has see, now a lifelong, forever living replica of yeah, himself. Yeah, but see, that's but see, that's where that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you and and and, and throw a wrench in there because Bernard uh, Arnold and Ford are two different people. Arnold had the baggage of his son and his wife and and the and the tragedy mm -hmm. there. Ford had his own thing, but guys, Ford. Even though he like there was a, a bit of redemption, let's let's not fucking split hairs here. He's a manipulative fuck. Like he's an egotist. He's an, he, he's egotistical and maniacal. He's he is those things still. Just because he he decided to give the park to the host, I don't think that it's in his personality to just end it. He I don't believe after all the work he did and everything that he did to to maintain his the park. You said it yourself. He was 50 steps ahead all the time. Yeah. I don't think I don't think he was ready to die. I don't I think he wanted to retire and and maybe take himself out of the game and give his creations give give the park over to his creations. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't, why would he build this whole new narrative? But why would he and... die? What? That's what I. That's, that's simple. It, why would he? Why would he want to die though? Because so that doesn't seem Ford very Ford is to me. A true artist. He wants his work to live on, right? Mm. If he was to hand that over to Delos, it wouldn't live on. It, it wouldn't be but his. He art anymore. Know, It'd be but he doesn't know. But he doesn't know what art. could go wrong. He he gets himself killed. He, do, he doesn't care. He gets to do his one last masterpiece, his last narrative. I see what you're saying. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying over. it's a dumb idea. I'm just saying I don't believe it. I think it's the other way. So I so. do believe it though, because if if you think about it, it makes sense. He's going to give himself a replica that will live yeah. on to enable his presence in the park without being there, to enable his art to live on under his yeah. thumb without him actually having to be there. But he's not. No, he but that's not, But himself. if there is a fo if there was a host of Ford, there isn't. He isn't. Bernard has the park now, so Ford isn't. Ford isn't gonna be doing it. But we don't know that for sure. Well, he but he gave the park to Bernard. Why would you be like, here, Bernard? You're now in charge. And then a host of him comes up, like, oh, by the way, I'm in charge now. That doesn't even well, make no, sense. I, I don't think the host would take charge. I think the host would be 
Bernard's partner. But you're also, but you're saying, but Bernard then, but, okay, was Ford's partner. But we have no, we have no indication that there is a, a, a thought or mind transference ability into these hosts. We have none of well, that. Well, no, he could already have wrote the program for the structure. I, mean, I guess of his he could mind. have programmed Listen, his they own. Were, they were building something there. They were building own... someone there. And yeah. They but anyway, look, we can, we can go back and forth with this. You guys are on yeah. one side. I'm on the other, and I'm 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 very interested to see where it ha yeah. where it goes. So we'll definitely see that. Let's um. Uh, we wrote down, you know, who's going to wake up the the rest of the hosts. I think that's going to be, I think we kind of say it, it, it's yeah. going to be both Maeve of them. Maeve and it's, Bernard. I think, I, well, I think Dolores as well. I think she's yeah, I going think to, yeah. I think Bernard is confused three, though. See, I think, I think it's going to be, yeah, I think Dolores is going to be pushing Bernard and yeah. like whispering in his ear, like, listen, this is what we do. Now, Maeve, let's jump over to Maeve. Because I, I I had thought differently. I thought that her last final act getting off the train was programmed by Ford. So I, I've kind of switched now to the other side. Like you guys are saying that. Well, I know I know Mike was saying. I think I think you might have been with me on the, the initially, Jesse. But I think Maeve left on her own accord. I don't remember where I stand on yeah, that. Yeah, I think you. I think you. I think you. I, I think, think it was me and you, you against said. Mike at the same at that time. But. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I think she did. I think that was her first real act of sentientness, mm -hmm. sentientness, whatever. Um, to go look again, yes. looking at the no, looking at at the park. So I, because I had predicted that Ford wanted her to go and wake up all the other hosts. Going along with what what we were all saying is that Ford's major plan was to wake up all the hosts. Well, how are you going to do that when he's been in Westworld the whole time? Send one of his. That's why I thought Maeve, which she still may because she's got that power where she can yeah. d get hosts to do whatever she wants and get them yeah. to wake up because she did it with, you know, Armistice and um, H Hector. Right? Yeah. So I know. Anyway, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, you think no, she's going to go agree. wake up the, you know, is she going to well, be our way into other parks? Since she did, obviously, you know, um, she does have, have the ability, Maeve has the ability to speak, and whatever she says, these hosts will follow. So since you do bring that point up, and since we know that for sure, I could see her along with Dolores, and maybe she is that number one um, host to change the rest of um, the army that she awoke in, you know, awoke from the, yeah, yeah. From the basement and... Excuse me, and to get them to the point where you know, on the level that Maeve is at, and the, the level that Dolores is at, and and like Bernard, like you say, I think Bernard will be that that new kind of Ford in a way. I yeah. guess it's still up in the air to see what happens with Ford, but but like you said, I can see him taking more of that role, and Dolores uh, and and Maeve being that um, awakening of these of these hosts. Yeah. Especially with Maeve's powers, true. You know? Definitely could be. Yeah. yeah, Dolores can really just be that muscle. Dolores could be that one that says, "All right, you're not going to follow the rules, or we're going to awaken you, or we're going to do this to you, whatever this is," and just and and start killing some of the. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because for all of all of these hosts that are running around now, um, who knows if they'll all just be, uh, you know, um, obedient. Obedient, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what. Yeah, so. I don't know. Um, yeah. What about uh, we have one more note, and I, and I think this is an interesting one to end on. Uh, what do you think is going to happen with Stubbs? Do you guys think he's going to he's going to roll back up into the park after escaping, uh, or or and then see what's up? Is he going to is he going to find the man in black and they're going to you know do the revolution that I think might happen? You know what I'm saying? Well, we don't know what happened to him. And what about know? Elsie? You know, we don't know Elsie, whether Elsie's Elsie, dead. Elsie, I think, is dead. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm fairly dead. certain she's yeah. dead. I'm going to hold a... out hope and say she's not. See, I mean, like, we had a lot of um, just, you know, cut cut off. So this, we had, you know, yeah, we had the, yeah, the host yeah. coming out of the woods and then it cut off. So we don't know how many Delos survive, you know. We had Stubbs being attacked by the, they were the, the Native we, American Yeah, the Native warriors, American warriors. Whatever, we didn't right? even see the rest of the park, though. That's what I'm saying. All well, engineers, workers. It just cuts off. Yeah, janitors. We like, we only saw the control room. We didn't see. I think it's fine now that think, Elsie's yeah, dead. Yeah, they're not going to. Yeah, I think Elsie's dead. I think the people in the building are dead. They're not going to. They're not going to. Um, it's, it's almost like that. Um, 
oh, you uh, you know, you hit, you hit the self-destruct button kind of a thing. Yeah. And it's yeah. almost like yeah. a no turning back thing. So, so I, I, I mean, could see I can see Stubbs. I mean, I'll let you get get to it, Jesse. But um, I think you'll see Stubbs possibly um, stumble uh, upon maybe a few. I still have that idea that there'll be a few survivors, that there'll be some yeah. of these Delos oh, Rex. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say there's most and, definitely survivors. Yeah. William, you know, if there's a handful of people, say there's like 10 humans or something. I think there's more than that, it, dude. Well, j- just a handful. I think okay, yeah. less would be better because it would be more of... They wouldn't be... stand as much of a snowball. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah exactly. I get it. And don't forget, not all hosts... Not all hosts are fighters and warriors and maniacs. A lot of them are. I, I don't know if you get woke up. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to be pretty mad. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I you know. Yeah. I mean, I agree with that. But I'm just saying, like, a lot of them. Are I mean, Clementine for that, wasn't really you know, a but... fighter either. No, I guess. All not. it takes is a little tweaking of their of their ability. All it takes is one slider. To fucking make yeah. them aggressive. Look at it. Look yeah. at Maeve. Maeve. Maeve knows how to do this. Bernard knows how to I'm do saying, this. Yeah. I don't know. You know what so, I mean? yeah. Anyway, Jesse, you were going to say something? Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I was going to go back to the Elsie thing with yeah. Bernard. He said, he, he like quotes to Ford, like, are you some kind of monster or something like that? After seeing the vision of Elsie of him, being of strangled him doing by him. Something to write so, him. in other words, she's dead. Yeah. And they lured, you know, that's how they lured Stubbs out there in the first place. Yeah, yeah she's like a fake, yeah, beacon, you know, from, from her. Dead as a doornail. Yeah. All right. I agree with dead you. Dead as Elsie. Um, dead as Elsie. <laughs> All right. Um, was there anything else that we had? I mean, I think we covered everything that we wanted to talk about. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, guys, I'm sure there's other stuff. So if, if there's some stuff we didn't touch on, what you can. What about that end scene there with Armistice? Oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, Totally forgot about that. She, uh, so if you guys d- did see that last that last thing, she was basically gnawing her arm off with a knife. She was she cut her she cut her fucking arm off, um, which is totally an armistice thing to do. This is just totally. Mm-hmm. But I mean, uh, she'll she'll make her way. You know, I mean th- that you know she's still she's still um, in the building, right? So now. She's in Samurai World, right? Or she's in that section. She's She's in in the department for Samurai World, yeah. So can she um, find her way, you know, out? Or is the building itself on lockdown? She's going to get a new arm. Tell me right now. She's going to get a new arm. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be a fucking badass non-skinned arm. And she's going to have this badass, like, cyborg. So we're going full-on Terminator here. No, that's not full-on. Star Wars. But mm-hmm. she's getting, she's gonna get a new arm. It was her right arm, right? She's yeah, gonna get a new arm. Anakin. And she, yeah, and she's definitely, yeah. and I don't think, cause who's gonna skin it? They don't just like pop on. I'm sure she's gonna get an engineer, someone who's still alive, to replace her arm, either at the elbow or shoulder. And it, I don't think it's gonna be skinned, or maybe it will be. Who the fuck knows? But I think, oh, I think wow. it'd be cool to not have it. But yeah, she's, she's definitely. I'm so glad that she that yeah. she's going to be back because I love that character. I think she's one of the coolest fucking characters. And I like Hector, too. Hector's cool, too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he, I want to see more of Hector. And he's next. still alive. He's still there. He, oh, wait. Maybe not. I forgot. He got Yeah, he kind of yeah. sacrificed himself as Maeve was leaving. Yeah. That's true. You know? Um, you know, the thing that... The thing with... with uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the thing with Armistice, which is kind of... Str- you know, it goes back to that whole... All right, so we know the engineers are on lockdown, right? So if they're not going to be able to get out, will Armistice be able to get out of the building in the first place? You know what I mean? If she, I'm assuming she will. Why would they show us that clip? But she's a host, so she kind of has the ability to be like, I'm not, you know, I'm one of you guys or whatever. Yeah, but can she still get out of? The whole thing is, can she get out of the building? I assume she will. Yeah, Mike, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that's an on-issue. But don't forget, we. If we go right afterwards, like right now, as far as we know, there isn't this huge uprising yet. It's like a handful of the main characters or a few of the main characters and then a group of um, zombified fucking hosts. Thousands or hundreds. I would say hundreds, I guess. Yeah, I would say hundreds. But but they're not, you know, again, right. We don't know where they are. Are they they in the building? Are they out of it? We don't know. But what I'm saying is... We, we don't have an, any numbers. We don't know if they're all outside the building, if they're holding hostages inside the building. We don't fucking know. 
you know where we're where we're let's put it this way let's put it this way we just talked about hector where are the guys that attacked hector where are they are they dead who killed them nobody i think they're dead but this is what i'm saying you can't just go ahead and say they're dead because who killed them we don't know who the fuck killed them maybe you think hector's gonna go out like a wimp man maybe not i think Uh, he's he's gonna gonna stand off yeah. And he's going to either die guns blazing and take them all well, out. If anything, I think or he's going to kill them all blazing. and live. Right. But don't forget, there are other teams. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't They didn't just have one security team. Of course there's other teams. So are we yeah. going to see fighting in other parts of the thing? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. I would love it if we came back and we were in the middle of the fight. That'd be fucking yeah. crazy. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah, it was I, would, like, I, would, I would like that And it was myself. like, we've been fighting for a week and we like... haven't heard, heard anything from the outside world. And, you know, and I don't forget. I still want to see us come back to old William standing up and just like blowing uh, Clementine's head off. <laughs> I, I, yeah. It, it'd be something may funny. We may, he may, he may see it, but I mean, don't forget there is also the outside. Um, I did hear somewhere that I think this is on an Island. Was it in the show yeah. or is it, I think this is an Island though. This isn't like, well, on a remember I linked you that, uh, that post where it looks like this place in Greece or whatever. Yeah, no, but I don't mean any any outside of the show things. I think, like, in the show, I think it was, like... Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, it looks like this area in Greece is what well, I was right. saying. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, the point is, I think that, you know, uh, Westworld or, or whatever it is, is all on uh, an I- isolated island, Yeah. you know, much I like mean, Jurassic yeah, Park, you know? Yeah. Um, all right, so... <laughs> now if if we've come to the end of our predictions i think i think we're good right yeah. got a little bit of extra knowledge here for you okay. something i found ironic i i realized it afterwards i meant to say it last uh review armistice means ceasefire more or less like an right. agreement to stop fire yeah she never stops fire yeah that's a, that's a that's a nice dichotomy there i like that yeah, uh, exactly complete opposite of what her name means it's so cool unless it's spelled different d- different I, I think what? it's armistice different i think i think it's yeah, i think it's still the same it's still the same. Anyway, i know that's a, that's a great yeah. and that's a cool name and yeah she's just a fucking bad i I'm, we're definitely seeing her oh man her in yeah. samurai armor maybe she takes a skits of samurai yeah. arm yeah yeah sword. that's what i'm saying man <laughs> to be the robotic maybe she puts a sword in her arm oh my god oh like um grindhouse like she had a yeah. gun in her leg and shit <laughs> anyway guys if um i know you guys have heard other predictions and i know you you guys watching this or listening to this mm-hmm. have some other ideas of what's going on do what you guys do best and throw those into the comments get mm-hmm. to us there um we've gotten some activity on our facebook page which is pretty cool so if you guys are into that go there and, and add some stuff there that's very cool we appreciate that right. you can get exactly. to us at third person pod on all the social medias um uh we just finished up our giveaway our first ever uh sub giveaway uh subscriber giveaway and that was cool and we're gonna be doing uh some Some more we're gonna be doing some more we're actually gonna be doing some um unboxing of loot crates and some of the stuff in those loot crates are gonna be prizes for you guys so make sure that you watch those things because we'll probably i don't know we haven't talked about it but yeah we'll be announcing either on that video or or after that video but um but anyway you know, so we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, I don't want to plug too many of our other videos because, <clears throat> nah. you know, don't make that much, you know, it's untimely then. Just, but anyway. just keep checking in. You'll see plenty of content yeah. coming uh, within the it, next it couple weeks. It might not all sure. be Westworld or Walking Dead related, but it'll be content. Yes. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've we've getting a lot of stuff. But anyway, uh, anything right. else, guys, you want to add? Rogue One. <laughs> Rogue One. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah. So guys, if you if you haven't finished the finished the season, go check out our reviews. If you if you caught up late or whatever, check out our live reactions, our reviews. Go check those out. Those are really fun. Uh, we got some really good uh, like comments and and um, you know some awesome people watching that stuff. So that's good. Um, I think that's gonna do it. Anything yep. else? Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. All right. Um, you guys hate when I go too long. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Uh, and we do this for you guys. And you guys are awesome. So once again, thank you very much. And uh, I'm Chris. I'm and... one with a force. <laughs> and I'm Mike. Damn, I'm going to get you guys one day. Peace in the Middle East. <laughs> peace out, man. Double peace. <laughs> <laughs>